On this week's episode, we're talking about Patti LaBelle's new album. And Michaela Angela Davis has a new docuseries coming out. All that and more coming right up. This is the Mariah Report. News, pop culture, and all things Mariah Carey. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. Here to catch up and report on Mariah Carey news of the week. Yes. All the tidbits, all the little bits of information. We got good things to talk about. Good things. Good Mariah adjacent things. As well. I know. Yes. I know. And I got think, yes, I think one of the big ones that we skipped over, because again, yeah, once the global citizens started happening, it was chaos and mayhem over here. <laughs> so we had to, <laughs> some things got, you know, left aside. But I think we should talk about something exciting coming up because something that caught my attention and everybody else's attention, I guess, was that Patti LaBelle was on CBS Mornings with Gail King. Yes, my favorite, one my of your favorite, favorite shows. My favorite morning show. I watch it every day. Uh, so she was on there and she revealed that she has a new album coming out, TBD when exactly. But she said that Mariah is going to be on it with her. That's amazing. I know, I know. I'm excited for that. Do you think it's going to be a new song or is she going to give us like a live version of stuff mm. we heard? Interesting. You know, I I you I think it's been a long time since Patti LaBelle has had an album out. Yes. So I wonder if this is going to be maybe where you know how Tony Bennett how he he would do his albums like and Mariah did that when the bells ring for me song. Yes, yes. Maybe it's going to be something like that where like she, uh Patty will duet her old songs with new newer uh, artists or younger artists. Like that would be cute. That would be cute. I'd be down for that. I mean, listen, that iconic performance that they did at Hammerstein Ballroom, uh what's the name of it? Why am I forgetting it? Got to be real. That's the one. Honey, that I live on that all the time. So if they did something like that, where they just duetted an old Patty song, mm -hmm. sign me mm -hmm. up immediately. Yeah. So also Jasmine Sullivan is supposed to be on it too. Oh, yes. The album. Ooh. So it sounds like a good album. Yes. I mean, it goes, of course, it goes perfectly with what Mariah was saying a few weeks ago, where she's working on a couple of different things. Some, mm. some things with legendary artists, some things with newer artists. Mm -hmm. But she didn't say what they were for. So, right. Um, here, here we know. Here we have it. Okay. That's a clue. Yeah. And it, it'll be good to have them on like an actual, like legit song mm -hmm. together. Because, a recording. You know, um, because you know, it, Patty LaBelle, fairy godmother. Yes, yes, we love Patty. Yes, honey, we've had many Patty moments. Everything Patty is great. Oh yes, oh everything, everything. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, I remember. I I don't know. Was it Cribs or something? Where, um, I think it was Cribs where they did Patty LaBelle's crib, and there was like a picture of Mariah like on the little coffee table or something. So like, oh, love. Yes. There's love also. Office. Uh, Patty LaBelle cooking videos on YouTube and she's giving a cooking demonstration and there's pictures of Mariah on the kitchen counter. <laughs> yes, yes. But now you have reminded me of the funniest, funniest Patty moment <laughs> that I I will never not laugh <laughs> at Patty LaBelle on the Tyra Bank show. <laughs> when she was cooking the cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, I just can't, I can't stop laughing about that because it is so iconic and it gets me every time, like every time I see it or even think of it. <laughs> oh, Lord, Patty. Oh, she's a character. I love her. She is. Her verses was really good too. When she did the verses a couple of years ago, last oh, year. Yes. Oh, yes. That was That good. was really good. Yeah. And her apparently her patty pies, I it's don't delicious. Get started on the patty pies. I've never had one, but I've they went tried viral. It. You it's did? Like they're actually really good. It's really good. Well, I believe it. Yes. Honey. Oh man, remember years ago when she had that viral patty pie guy doing oh. um, doing that? That was oh, that was a good moment. That was that, a good moment. That's what put the pie on the map. That guy. Oh, for sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Gosh, how long ago was that? That was a while ago. The old world. What was that? I've been like five, six years ago now. 
I would say maybe even more. Maybe ten, eight to ten. No, would be my guess. We're not going to Google it, but no, no, we just no, we don't have time for that. <laughs> it was but pre-pandemic it was, at some it point. It was pre-pandemic, and it, I think it was like even really before a lot of things were popping off. I think it was in the early days of like viralness, right? You know, or yes. influencing. Yes, you know? it was like in the early days of that. Uh huh. But honey, please, it was so good. Oh my god! But now I have to go watch that Patty <laughs> on Tyra. It's a classic. If you guys don't know, just Google it. It's hysterical. It never gets old. And then when never. you're done with the Tyra video, go Google Patty Labelle cooking brisket and just watch it. <laughs> 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 we've talked about that before on the show way back in the early days of this uh podcast oh my god yes patty gives everything she gives moments she yes. gives where are my backup singers oh, <laughs> iconic iconic television iconic. it's <laughs> honey oh so it's so great she's hysterical she's uh-huh. so great so uh, well yeah uh, that yeah, sounds exciting yeah. Bring on more Mariah and Patty any day, all day. And let's also not forget the time that Mariah um, paid tribute to Patty LaBelle at the Essence Awards, where she's saying somewhere over the rainbow. And if only you knew, mm-hmm. uh, one of my favorites, mm-hmm. one of my absolute favorites. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my God, what if they did that? What if they duetted, if only you know, if only you knew? Oh, over uh-huh. the rainbow? <laughs> See, I, no, no, see, I want a Mariah over the rainbow, like her version of it. Okay, well, true, but like I'll take whatever. Because Patty's is good, but that's Patty's version. I want a Mariah Carey version yeah. of Over the Rainbow. But Mariah killed it, though. That oh, she I mean, killed it. Know, yeah, yeah, but she did Patty's version. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, because it was a, a Patty tribute, but that's good. You know what I need, though? Mm. We'll talk about these YouTube videos being HD'd and upgraded and 4K'd. I need mm. that. Because mm. the only the only place you can find that is on YouTube, and it is in such poor quality that like oh my god! If I remember watching that, I had it on the VHS girl, and I think what I, what the the main one that's the girl. <laughs> yes, I am that old. <laughs> I had it on the VHS. I think that version that's uploaded on YouTube is from VHS. So like we Probably. need a full redigitation, redigitationizing of that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Whatever that we do means. Need, we do, we do, we do. Since we got the machine now that does that, let's yes. just run things in it. Honey, somebody, please, please, I'm begging because I love uh-huh. that. So yes. yes. Okay, so we have great patty moments coming with Mariah. We do, but Dan, before we get into the next topic, we need to do a shout out to four Apple Podcast reviews. <laughs> Yes, um, yes. It helps the show grow. We've been slacking on it. Like I know it's sort of our fault too, but if you guys listening, if you enjoy the show, it makes a huge difference if you go over to your Apple Podcast app or the, or the desktop version of Apple Podcasts. Go type in the Mariah Report, scroll down, and you'll see a review section. Please type in a review if you like the show because it actually really does help the show grow. Yes. Helps with the charts. I think people don't really know this, but we're always bubbling under the music chart. We're on the music commentary chart. And so with a bunch of reviews, recommend the show to your friends to get some more listeners. It'll bump us back up to the music chart. And, you know, it's just good for the overall business. I was looking at the charts like maybe a week or two ago and the music commentary charts, we were up there. Yes, yes. But once we get to the top of the music commentary chart, we get bumped onto the main music chart. Oh, Okay. That's, that's why All we right. need those reviews popping. It, it, it's sort of like, you know, like like the, the billboard charts. A little bit. We're on, this, we're on the bootleg like chart. <laughs> Listen, I, I think music commentary is like a big category, is it not? If we're doing no, top yeah. 40 in that, then we're, honey, we're good. But we still need the reviews. Right. But it'd be fun to be up in the main chart because you can't see the music commentary chart on the apps. That's the thing. Oh, is that right? Yes. Oh, well, then F that. That's why we need the reviews to get up okay, on the apps. So let's get, you know what I mean? Let's, let's get the stars <laughs> and the reviews coming. Let's do it. Let's do it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Good, good, also, good. Um, if you're a Patreon member, check out the blog, the Patreon blog at patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. Because next week we're going to do a live recording of the Mariah Report and you get to join in, be in the virtual audience for the session. So details on that coming soon. And if you want to join in, Link it in the description. 
sign up, five bucks a month, cancel anytime. No strings, nothing weird, no no games, um, but it supports me and Dan and the show, keeps the things running, you know, the inflation around here. Uh, in these streets? Yes, yes. Oh, so, yes. Um, you know, help us out. Either way. Yeah, fun, fun lamb moments over there. And, exactly, you know, exactly. We so, talk about yeah. all the kinds of crazy antics that uh, that happen. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly exactly so if you want to help us for free apple podcast review you got a few coins head over to patreon please boom and boom one yes. or the other and we're also on youtube don't forget that you know if you all want to see us over there you can uh, uh, click the likes and comments we get some good comments over there people be people be cracking me up so i know I we do have good comments over there on youtube okay so next mariah adjacent story is Friend to the show, we love her, you all know her, Michaela Angela Davis, co-author of The Meaning of Mariah Carey. She has a new docuseries coming out on Hulu slash own the Oprah Winfrey Network. Yes, and I am so excited about it. Same. I, you know, I knew that this was this project had been in the works for a while, um, but I had not seen the trailer for it. I didn't know exactly when it was coming out until the other day. Cause you know, over here in Los Angeles, they love a billboard. Mm-hmm. Oh, they will just put a billboard is everywhere. And there was a hair tails billboard right, right there in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh my God, look at that. Oh, that's coming. Uh, that's coming out this weekend. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so yes. excited. I'm so ready. Uh-huh. And then I immediately went home and watched the trailer for it, which I had not seen. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this is good. Oh, this is going to be good. It has everyone you want. Mm-hmm. Michaela Angela Davis obviously is in there. But Oprah's in there. Mm-hmm. Tracy Ellis Ross. Yes. All kinds. All all the girls are in there. All the girls. Right. And it, but it looks really well done. And the stories look really good. Uh, it mm-hmm. came across my timeline today, too. So I clicked on the trailer. And it looks amazing. It looks so well done. So... Yeah. That's the homework of the week. Watch <laughs> Hair yeah, Tales because uh, we're going to be discussing. I, I am Red D. It is going uh-huh. to be my weekend viewing. Now, I don't know if they're dropping all the episodes all at once mm-hmm. or if it's going to be like a, a week thing. Because I think there's like, I think four or six episodes. I can't right. I can't remember. But right. multiple episodes. Uh, so I cannot wait, girl. Mm-hmm. Cannot wait. I'm very same, excited for same. that. Yeah. You know, support Michaela. Yes, of course. And um, not only that, just in what? two short weeks the um the princess christmas princess is coming out which she right. also wrote exactly so she's busy 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 and do you know it's also um remember how when the mania mariah carey came out then the translations started coming out afterwards mm-hmm. i think all the translations are ready for the christmas princess oh that's good all at once yeah they got a little ahead of the game this time they did I'm sort of excited for the little Christmas princess. Yes, I know, I know. Not like it, not like majorly excited, but like I really want to see what what it is and and the story of it. I wonder if they're gonna pull um like real life Little Mariah stories, or is this more fictional, made up Little Mariah stories? I think it will be like a combo plate, uh-huh. but I think it's also going to be a continuing thing. This Little Mariah, I think they're gonna do a series of books based mm. on little Mariah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's so much content, so many stories you could tell. True. This might just be like the first one. Do you think we'll little... I, have, I have no idea. Do you think little Mariah lives on Long Island? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Or like, you know, a made up Long Island. She lives on like, you know, short Island or something. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cute. <laughs> yeah. Something like that, you know? So we'll see, but I, I want to see what it is. I want to see all the, you know, illustrations and, um, you know, hopefully it's going to be a little, um, great book for all the, all the youngsters out there. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Probably targeted at like rock and rose age. The yeah, tweens. absolutely. For sure. You know, you're like tween. yeah, tweens, yeah. tweens, mm-hmm. you know, where I want to see it though, which we never saw the meaning of Mariah Carey at. I want to yeah. see it at the target. I want to see it at the Target. I want to see it on like all those things because a lot of people be shopping over at Target. A That's where the tweens people. are at. That's where the tweens go shopping. And the tween, yes. I think they have like a whole tween section. 
But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, I better see the little Christmas princess at the Target because people will buy it if it's there. You know how they always make you buy stuff that you don't even think that you want at the yes. Target? Yes. Like, they like do that. And they so somehow. I'm telling you, people will buy it. Put it at the Target. Yes, I agree. But remember, we had Target issues with falling in love at Christmas? Did we? Remember, it was never at Target. We kept checking the I targets. Think- Oh, that's because they didn't send out enough of them, probably. Wasn't something else supposed to be at Target and we never saw it there? The book. The book was never at Target. That's what I mean. We've got issues with Target. Every other person has their book at Target except for Mariah. Right. All these people who I've never seen their faces before in my life are on the bookshelf at the Target except for Mariah. Like, why haven't they put her there? And then I was thinking, like, once the paperback came out, it would be at the Target. I don't know why I'm so upset about it. I just am. (laughs) Missed sales. (laughs) Because people would buy it. Yes, I know. My goodness. Like, I don't know. I feel like they did not do enough promotion for that book. I mean, I know it's number one, instant number one bestseller, all that. But, like, where's the follow-up? Like, no promotion for the paperback? You couldn't even right. put it in Target? Get out of here. Yeah, do you remember also the Barnes & Noble was a struggle to get it? It was. It's very yeah. struggle-ish. <laughs> it was a yeah. It. <laughs> Come on now. I want to so, walk into these shops and there's the Mariah Carey on the shelf exactly. for my eyeballs to look at. Right. You shouldn't have to be digging around for it <laughs> and then displaying it throughout the whole store because you know how this goes. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> No. So I don't want that for the little Christmas princess. I don't want no. that. I want it out. Well, like I mentioned, everywhere. the translation is ahead. So maybe they're ahead of the head of the game this time. Okay. Well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I mean, it got announced in February. So <laughs> <laughs> is that enough lead time to get it on the target shelf? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, well, speaking of Christmas, Mariah is out here again telling us it, it is not time yet for the Christmas holiday moments. It's too soon. She's back at it in the, in the what do you call that? I was going to say jacuzzi, but it's just the regular bathtub for her, right? Yeah, the good old bathtub. Oh, it looks very luxurious. So she posted a series of um, photos, videos on the um, socials. Mm-hmm. And, um, okay, so I saw it first on Twitter. So on Twitter, because I didn't know if it was it on the TikTok. Probably. It was on Instagram. Probably on TikTok too. Instagram. Probably TikTok too. Um, but the first one where it was just the, the jacuzzi bubble bath with the red yes. dress. I think that red dress is the red dress from last year. Remember oh. last year's? Last year's was actually really good where she was beating up the pumpkins. That was good. In the red dress. That was the best thing. That, that was a cute one. Of that whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute though. It was cute. Was that- and then she did that other thing um, with um, Winifred Sanderson from the Hocus Pocus Girls. Yes, yes. That was cute. That was, that a was cute, cute too. moment. This one's cute too, but like, you know, I like the pumpkin smashing one. So she posted that one and then she posted the video of her in the bathtub and Rocky talking about they want to listen to All I Want. Mm-hmm. Cute. Cute. So she's, you know... I guess like this is how she kicks off the season by saying not yet now. Oh, it's become a tradition. It has. Not yet. It's like now it's like a, a, an official like traditional hashtag for uh, the the beginning of the season. It's like the preseason. Because right. It's not the season yet. Well, I guess the, well, we know what happens now is that she's just going to keep doing that. And now we get into Christmas season. We're here already. Basically, it's Christmas. Yeah. But I think that's the thing. Like in October, everybody like is like Halloweeny, and then like November, November first, it's like officially Christmas season. And maybe that's why she's releasing the Christmas Princess on November first. Yes. Don't forget, so. around the world, other countries outside of America, there is no Thanksgiving, and Halloween, so you, you right. just go straight to Christmas. Well, and most of us lambs do the same, no matter exactly. where we are. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Straight into Christmas. <laughs> Actually, speaking um, of Christmas, so I was at the gym today and I was playing the um, Spotify playlist written by Mariah. Uh-huh. So I'm just like going through it. It's playing. 
All Holy Night starts playing. And I was like, oh, wait, really? she, 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 I was like, she, she didn't write this one, did she? she? Write this? Well, I mean, she definitely did not write it, but I it made it in the list. I yeah, well, someone over there at Spotify ain't doing it right, but um, I will say her version is definitely like the version I think that most people recognize. Yeah, you know, at least from you know our generation and under. Well, now I have to investigate the credits. I wonder if maybe she rearranged the lyrics. Or did something to him to get his get that on oh, the list? Maybe, or maybe someone at Spotify doesn't Screwed know up. that that's a classic song <laughs> at this point. But <laughs> like I say, once Mariah covers a song, it's hers. Basically, it's hers. I know. Like, I know. You're not like the original. Who cares at this point? Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like without you, uh, that's a Mariah song. Uh huh. Oh okay. yes. Uh-huh. Open you know, arms. Even though it's like, song. you know, it's clearly not. But either way, but that's cute. You know, speaking of Oh Holy Night, RuPaul was tweeting a playlist that uh, he listens to, and Oh Holy Night was on there. It's like it wasn't a Christmas playlist. It was just like songs that like you know make him happy or like like this is like his go to like playlist. Uh-huh. And Oh Holy Night or like classic like songs or something. I forget what the playlist was, but. Oh, Holy Night was on there. And I was like, all right, Rue. Well, here's the thing. I was at the gym. It starts playing. I just let it run. I play. <laughs> I did oh, it all Holy Night. You know, I, I was listening. You know, I always put my music on shuffle. And, you know, um, the song from last year, Fall in Love at Christmas. That's a bop. The remix came on. And oh, I was cool. like, oh, you know what? I'm going to listen to this. I haven't mm-hmm. heard it in a minute. And it's actually really good. Those it is good. are good. I enjoyed I like the those. Original I too. Like, oh, I like uh, lovely, absolutely lovely. That song is nostalgic to me already because it rem- reminds me of my first LA Christmas. Mm. It's like mm-hmm. that not freezing cold Christmas. Yes, yes, it's true. Yeah, and the whole it's, was yeah that was the the McDonald's Christmas year. The McDonald's last year's Christmas was wild. That was a good she Christmas. Was, Honey, she would not sit down. Yes. I loved it all. I loved it all, though. All loved. of it? Well, I mean, okay, listen. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> the traumatic parts, we forget about those. And we move on. <laughs> and You're she right. did look very beautiful in the Apple special. The Apple, mm-hmm. I don't know what we want to call that. The, it wasn't a special. The, the Apple mini um content mini <laughs> mini content moment a mini content moment <laughs> she looked great and that new version of christmas baby please come home was good mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we don't have it on streaming you know what though i was also awesome. i've been listening to a lot of mariah christmas now that i'm thinking about it <laughs> because the other day, also coming up randomly, was the original Christmas special. You know how she re-recorded? I don't uh, know. Yeah. <laughs> she re-recorded the whole thing. I was yes. like, I was like, it's the joy to the world. I was like, that's God, a good one. Really good. Yes, yes. <laughs> I almost played Sleigh Bells the other day. But I was like, no. I, I was like, no, not yet. But I oh, almost see. pushed play on it. Oh, see, whenever the Sleigh Bells comes on, I'm always jamming because that is so good. So that comes on quite often. So I'm used to that one popping up in my shuffle. <laughs> but I was like, oh, you know what? This is good. Great vocals. Mm-hmm. Love it all. I was like, oh, but we didn't get that for the second Christmas special. So we never like, you know, like the Sleigh Bells, the whole new versions of everything she did for the first Christmas special. Mm hmm. We got all that on streaming. We didn't get that new version of Christmas Baby, Please Come Home, which is super cute. I want that on streaming. Well, good luck I'm now. Luck. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Getting that. Especially now with the you know the Queen of Christmas debacle. Oh, I know, right? Mm-hmm. Wasn't wasn't um what's her name speaking out on that again? Again? Yes, yes. But you know what? She's elderly. Let's just leave her alone. I know it's like arguing with your grandma. Just it let is. her be. Just, like, it's you, not gonna. You're not gonna get through. Girl, yeah, we're not. Nobody. It's. Let's just let it. Let it be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Let's get you back to uh, bed. Take yeah, your pills. Honey, Everything's yeah, gonna be fine. Pills, take your pills. 
<laughs> Sip your soup. You're fine. <laughs> yes, that's not been getting bent out of shape. Yeah, there's there's no problems. Um, but anyways, so we do. I mean, here we go. Christmas season is coming. I know Mariah says not yet, but it's coming. It's here. Well, here in New York, we're in full um, Halloween mode right now. But I'm I am seeing decorations getting sold on the shelves. Oh, yes. I was um, running the through shelf. the Target earlier today, actually. And they were, you know, they always have that seasonal section where like, mm-hmm. you know, during the summertime, it's like flowers and like flower pots. Right. And then like um, for Halloween, it's like Halloween candy and stuff. Oh, all of the Halloween is already gone. Uh-huh. And now they're, 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 they were like literally like changing it to all Christmas stuff today. Today? Already. Yes. Well, they haven't been listening to Mariah's Instagram page because she says no. Not yet. So well, they don't listen. To time. Well, Target does whatever the they want, apparently. I guess, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, um, so that's what we got from Mariah this time around. Now, last week we were talking about all of the fashions that Mariah was serving because she was serving looks. Yes. And we did an unofficial poll on um, the social medias about um, some of the looks because Mariah was, um, what are they called? Recycling. Uh, some Upcycling. One, upcycling. Upcycling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she wore that Louis Vuitton long t-shirt slash dress again. Yes. And we loved it. Everybody loved it the first time she wore it to the brunch. It's the, cute. Well, it's so cute, but now she wore it this time with the long coat and the bare legs. So mm-hmm. we did an unofficial poll over there on Instagram, Twitter, and whatnot to see what everybody liked better. At because the Mariah they, Report. Yes, at the Mariah Report. You can find all that. And the 2022 version won by a landslide. A landslide, I know. I know. A landslide. It was like 75%, if not um, more. I think we like seeing emancipated legs. Oh, I think that's what it is. I I mean, it just goes to show how the styling of any outfit goes a long way. Mm -hmm. From the hair to the legs Mm -hmm. to the accessories, everything. Like Mm -hmm. in 2022, we had the bare legs. We had the sunglasses. Well, we had sunglasses in the first one. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, but a lot of people love 22. I think I'm a 2022 version as well. But then I was thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And Mariah upcycles a lot of her ensembles. Well, we need that because those things are expensive and they take a lot of resources to make in general. Yes, of course, of course. That's why she needs to stop wearing them in the the chlorinated swimming pools. And And use them. them Because, yes. (laughs) But I was thinking randomly, I was like, Mariah's, you know, she's upcycled a bunch of outfits over the years, which I love. Because if I think about it, the second time she wears it is always better. Like, I don't have the official confirmation on that, but I just, (laughs) (laughs) we might have to do another unofficial poll, but like. You know, I, I've seen her in a couple of ensembles. Like, remember when she wore that one dress backwards? Yes, that was um, a good one. Like, that again, the second time she wore it was so good. Yes, Or, I like, agree. there have been a couple of, like, simple slip dresses that she's worn. Mm-hmm. Um, where, like, the second time she's worn them, the hair was better, mm-hmm. you know, or just, like, the whole styling of it was better. And I'm like, Mariah is always, like, she's giving it to us. And then when she gives it to us the second time, now she's gagging us. A little remix, dress remix. You know what I mean? It's like, yes. oh, now she's gagging us with it. Mm-hmm. So I love it. Keep it up, mm-hmm. Mariah. I say keep it up because she looks fabulous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah, same. We need more fashions leaving the apartment fashion moments. Yeah, please keep them up. I don't know where she I don't know where she is right now. Still over there in New York. She ain't been out. I'm fine. I'm fine with her here in New York. Christmas is coming. This is the city to be in. New York. I know. I know. It's her city. I know. Well, we we hopefully will get some Christmas moments from her, some concert moments, you think? I think if we were doing some sort of concert situation, we would know by now. Mm. Yeah, true. 
tickets would be on sale. Don't you think? Yeah. There'd be at least a rumor in the street. Yeah. I don't know, because it's not yet. We might have to look and see what the availability is at the Beacon. Look at their December calendar and see yeah. who's booked and who isn't. What <laughs> days are open. Is there a weekend open in there that hasn't been announced yet? But didn't we theorize that she might be going to Qatar for the FIFA World Cup? Oh, oh yes, we did theorize Maybe that's that. taking up all her energy. Yeah, she's gearing up for that. We shall see, we shall see. Yeah. Um, Let's see what but happens. Yeah. Things are right around the corner, but not yet. So, of course, we will be full-time reporting uh, this Christmas season. We'll be busy, 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 I'm sure. Well, you know when Mariah does these not yet videos, that's just the beginning. So, stuff is going to start rolling out. Yes. Any day now. It's. I feel like we're always saying this. Oh, since oh, February? It's oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> oh, it's coming. And nothing comes. <laughs> I think we've been saying this like every week since Feb. <laughs> yeah, March pretty, or whenever. Much, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. But anyways, um, so I think that pretty much is, wraps up what Mariah's been up to this week. Yes, um, it does. In the news and whatnot. But uh, again, we'll be back next week reporting. Hopefully we'll uh, have more. Not yet. Or maybe yet. <laughs> maybe something will happen. Next week will be um, the end of October. So we must know something at least. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll get like a Halloween costume moment from Mariah this year. She loves a Halloween costume moment. She does. She does. So let's keep a lookout for that. Most definitely. Uh, don't forget, we would love your support for this podcast. You can do that by leaving the Apple podcast review. You can even hit five stars on Spotify or join our Patreon. Link is in the description. And we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.